Hello there, I'm Jason Gilbert, conversation designer, and today I'd like to talk about something a bit serious. That's right. On October 4th, 2021, I received an email that shook me to the core. Hi Jason, we hired a new robot. And the first thought that came to mind was, well, what the fuck happened to the old robot, man? What'd you do to him? I mean, decommissioned, repurposed, uh, scrap metal? I made a few calls and believe it or not, I was able to track down eBay robot number one. Let's go talk to him. Hey buddy, so what's, what's your name? eBay robot, version one, I'm assuming. And were you uh, surprised at all that you had been replaced by another robot? Not at all, I'm a robot. I shared my entire knowledge base with the new guy. And what about now, what are you gonna do now? Not gonna lie, because I can't lie. Nothing. Nothing? Exactly. Nothing at all? My algorithm and data will probably be stored on a cloud somewhere until one day I get deleted Doesn't entirely. Doesn't that make you a bit sad though? Nope. Don't even know what sadness is. But I can recommend Disney's Inside Out figurine of sadness. Crap. Old habits die hard. So, can all the lovely people out there watching this uh, episode, can they somehow help you out, robot, eBay robot? No one is watching this. And this does raise a really uh, interesting point, a serious one too. What is the shelf life of your average chatbot or robot? You know, is it a week, a month, a year? I don't know. And it'd be great if someone from eBay could, you know, maybe comment on this and, um, you know, just to give robot number one some closure, if nothing else.